Monday. My intention was to do a video, but from the very moment I switched on my computer, nothing would work. First, the software for showing the pictures preview would not open. The QuickTime, which I used to record the movies, would not open. And when I did, it would not allow me to save or export my file in any form onto the desktop. So I never got even a chance to see uh, what errors the uh, editing software would come up with. But anyway, I see this as highly significant. Large amounts of sulfur dioxide in the Arctic, while methane levels in the mid-atmosphere appear to have reduced. Some may see it as a solution to climate change, but it is another sign of the growing predicament. So I came across this, um, this picture that was posted from Harold Hensel on Facebook, and he posted this picture of methane levels at 500 uh, hectopascals. And then he contrasted it with this. So the levels do indeed seem to have come down. Um, and he seems to think that it's a good thing. Uh, said, uh, I don't have an explanation for the decrease, but whatever it is, I hope it keeps doing it. So that's a pretty myopic um, kind of view in my mind. Uh, yeah, the, the, the methane is still coming up from uh, the surface. So there has to be something else at play, and uh, I really recommend uh, the, the uh, monitoring that Marco has been doing on the, uh, on the earthquakes um, in, in Kamchatka, in Russia, and also in New Guinea and elsewhere. And these seem to be, have put large amounts of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. Um, and at the moment, uh, if you look at the total column and the 500 hectopascals, you can see that it is spreading all around the Arctic. So you can see this here in the pictures that uh, Margot has provided. Um, and here. And um, But if you look on the global level, you can see, um, yeah, this is at 500 hectopascals. This is all uh, concentrated in the Arctic and not so much where the putative uh, origin of the sulfur dioxide is. Uh, so, um, yeah, if we go to the, at the surface level, there are a couple of areas you can see where there's, where, where there's some in the red, uh, but mostly not. So this uh, raises the question Perhaps this is coming from somewhere else, other than the, uh, the volcanoes, who knows? But uh, no one seems to have even noticed this, uh, apart from one other person. Um, and everyone collectively is failing to look any deeper or asking where this might be. That takes time and effort. So I've provided the links, and I've also provided some uh, material on sulfur dioxide, and especially in relationship to uh, climate change. But basically you can translate this into uh, acid rain, something that we thought that we'd done away with in the 1980s and 90s. Um, but of course you can imagine uh, what's falling with the rain here. So I'll leave it at that and I'll provide all the uh, links below. Okay, this is uh, Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under.